What if you don't change your settings to 90% charging limits on your car? Could General Motors back out on any kind of coverage or liabilities if your car catches fire? I don't want to take that chance. I got a feeling they will because I've logged into the system and they know by me logging in that I've read that recall and I know I should have my car set to 90%. And if my car catches fire and they research the car and find out that it's been charged at 100% all the time, they'll know I didn't follow their regulations, their guidelines, and they may back out on any coverage or any responsibility of the car. So I'm going to show you guys how to change those settings because I'm changing mine just for that reason. Here we go. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm, real quick, I'm going to set the target charging on my, my car because I did log into the system and check the status to see if I had a recall on the car. By doing that, I believe that's going to put me in a database that shows that I was aware that I need to start charging my car at 90%. So if I don't charge my car at 90% and it catches on fire, they may use that as a loophole to not cover the damages by the car so with that being said they kind of got you by a thread so let me show you how this works real quick and um, if you want to do it go ahead um, if you don't want to do it i get it um, i'll do it for a while we'll see how it's going to impact my driving and my range and stuff so let me flip this around okay first thing you're going to do is hit that green energy button right there if you're on any one of the other screens here, doesn't matter which one you're on. Hit your energy button. Hit your charging button. I guess they're not buttons. They're tabs. Up here it says charging target level is what you're going to look for. going to tap that. And I've already tapped mine back. Um, if you haven't changed yours from 100%, it'll look like that. And you can see these little multicolor bars are there's a light green and a dark green each one of those is five percent and each one of these is 25 percent so there's 25 there's 50 75 100 okay so if we're at 100 percent let's go back 5 10 let's go back two bars so let's go there's five uh, percent off there's 10 percent off okay that should be 90 percent so that's how i'm going to set my charging um you don't have to hit save or anything. You just leave it like that. And that's how it, it, it'll it remember what you stop your settings at each time. And to get back to your screens that you were at before, if you're not familiar with this, it's just real easy. Hit your energy button and you hit your information button. That takes you back to your screen that you was at before. So, all right. I hate to do this, but that's what I'm going to do. Just because, like I said, I, I'm concerned if, if there is a problem, which I don't foresee a problem happening with my car, but heck, it could happen. Um, I want to make sure that General Motors is going to cover it. So we're going to see how this impacts my range the day I drive, because there are some days where I drive pretty deep into the battery on this car, and 10% could leave me with 3% battery when I get home. So, because I've been, I've made my trips before and come home with 13% left on my car depending on that day of the range, because my, my daily route changes. Uh, typically daily, it could change. I, I could drive anywhere from 175 miles to 220, 25 miles. Just depends. Um, and then it, it's a factor plays in, too, if I got my air conditioning on. Is the wind blowing? What's the temperature outside? You know, all that stuff plays in the factor of what your range is actually going to be. And I always drive at 65 mile an hour. If you watch any of my videos, you know that's what I do. I try to drive this car as efficiently as I possibly can. Um, if you've seen that it did say 3.8 miles uh, or kilowatts used out of 16 miles, I just reset it while I was driving around um, by the nearest town. Um, I was about six miles away from home. Here, I'll show you what it, what it did. It's doing 5.3 miles per kilowatt. Uh, now it's dropping because I've been sitting here talking on this video. Um, so that's, that's kind of how my range is. So it won't be that way when I get out on the highway and start driving, you know, my normal route. 
So anyway, this was just a quick video just to show people if you don't know, because they say in that um, recall warning, if you don't know how to do it, take it in the dealership. That's all they're going to do. So do it yourself. If you want to take it in just so they can acknowledge that, yeah, you did it, you can do that. That's okay. But it's that simple. So don't get don't get nervous about changing the settings in it. It's all in the book. It tells you how to do it. If you can't figure that out, that's okay. Sometimes people are nervous about messing their car up. You're not going to mess your car up. You're not going to change anything uh, as far as the way the car performs or you know what it's going to do, just the time that it charges to the percentage. So it's real simple. Good luck. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day.